How to connect Shopify to Google Merchant Center. Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how we can promote our business and our Shopify products on the Google Merchant Center. Now, the Google Merchant Center is the platform where you can connect any of your stores, e-commerce store or stores, and you can take your products from your store and promote them on Google. Promoting on Google means that when people are browsing websites, they see product ads on the sides. Those are usually by Google and you can have your products become those advertisements once you sign up for Google Merchant Center. So how can you actually connect your Merchant Center account with Shopify? Well, it's a really simple step-by-step -step process. To do this, you're going to have to add it as a new sales channel. But how do I add a new sales channel on Shopify? Well, to do this, we're going to install an application and we're just going to head on over into our Shopify store and let's jump right into our tutorial. Go into your Shopify dashboard click on settings on the bottom left. Once you click on settings on the bottom left, you're going to click on apps and sales channels on the left. Once you do that, you're going to click on the top right and open up the Shopify app store. Once you open up your Shopify app store, simply search for Google. Once you search for Google over here, you will see this application called Google and YouTube. This is the official application of Google and the developer should say Google LLC. There are some third party applications that try to emulate Google, but you want to go with the official one because it's a really simple setup and you don't have to worry about security or privacy when you're using this application. So to use this, simply click on install over here. Once you click on install, you're going to be led to the next page from where you're going to complete the installation. Click on install once more. And once you have done that, your application is now going to be installed onto your Shopify store. Now you will see that this application is added right under your sales channels. So simply click on this pin icon to pin this to your navigation in your Shopify store. This allows you to access your Google Merchant Center a bit more easily. Now, once you have installed the Google and YouTube application, you're going to click on connect Google account and a pop-up will appear. In that pop-up, you're going to select the relevant Gmail account that you have that is related to your business that you have used to create your merchant center and you can proceed with your Google setup. So you will see this will display your Google account. Below that, you have emails from Google. You can turn these off and then you have to complete your information on your store. This includes having a valid payment method, creating your store and removing the online store password. Then you have to add a refund policy in terms of service. Now, if you don't have that written, you can just click on settings on the bottom left, then scroll. And on the left, you will have policies. You're just going to go on ahead, click on the return and refund policy, click on insert template, and then you can customize this really simple template and, you know, make it compliant with your actual store policy that you do have. Shopify has templates for every type of policy out there. So it really is, um, you know, simple to set up other than your shipping policy. Everything is automated and is available to you. Now we're going to move towards the next step, which is to complete the next requirement of our store, which is to confirm that you've added contact information. Once you have done that, you're simply going to select the Google Merchant Center account. If you don't have one already, you can click on create new and create a new Google Merchant Center account. Now, if you are in a EU economic zone or Switzerland, your Merchant Center account needs to have a CSS associated with it, which is a comparison shopping service. And I already have created my Merchant Center account separately, so I can just select that and click on connect. Once you click on connect, okay, so this is still linked to another store. I'm going to have to try this one. I'll have to create a new one from scratch, so I'm just going to click on create new. And once I do that, I can proceed with my new Merchant Center account over here. Click on connect. And once you have clicked on connect, you're going to 
proceed to the next step, which is to verify your information. Google does need a valid business phone number to activate your account. After that, you have your product feed settings, which include your product sync, your shipping, checkout links, and other settings. And I'm just going to complete this setup. So now that I have verified my information for my Google Merchant Center account, I can proceed on to the next step. So now from here, I can move towards the next step which is to set up my product feed settings. So you can click on manage over here and automatically sync your products to Google and YouTube. Then you can select your target country and the target language. Once you've done that, you can proceed with your shipping settings. These have been automatically imported from my Shopify store. Then you also have your checkout settings as well as your location settings. You can automatically sync these from your Shopify store or you can choose the second option to not include checkout or not include location info. Then after that, you have your conversion tracking. This helps you in optimizing the performance of your ads and free listings. After that, just agree to the terms and conditions of Google. And then click on complete and just like that once you have clicked on this final green button your google merchant center account has now been connected to your shopify store now once you have connected your store it does not mean that automatically your product now going to be converted into ads on google it can take time for google to scan and analyze and approve your products to be promoted you can see in the notification over here, it tells you that it might take up to an hour for your products to sync to the Merchant Center. And if no products are available, then you can check back later. You will also have your product status. So you will have approved products, pending products, and not approved products. Products that might seem fraudulent can become not approved. So make sure that your listings are complete for your products and the way that your products are added is accurate and reflective of the actual item. You can also go into settings on the top right to further optimize any store settings that you might later want to change. And just like that, you have a new sales channel included onto your Shopify store. Not only is the Google Merchant Center something that can help you in selling products, but the Merchant Center also helps you in making valuable analytical analysis of your strategy, of your marketing strategies. Because when you are using Google, you can advertise your products with Google and then you can add Google Analytics. So you can click on get started over here and I do recommend to add Google Analytics. It's a really simple setup. Just connect a Google Analytics property or just click on create new. You can create a new one in a couple of seconds. Click on connect. Once you do that, you will be able to get detailed analytics about your Shopify store, about the performance of your store and how you should be optimizing it further. You can know how many abandoned carts you have, how many abandoned checkouts you have, and how you can do some cold outreach and do some outreach to recover and gain more conversions. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.